Good morning, cover girls. Today's video is gonna be all about dental recruiting, dental temp staff agencies, and overall still the dental labor market participation. So um, as you guys will see in the thumbnail of this video, staffing agencies continue to have high growth rates, especially those staffing agencies that are in the healthcare sector. So um, what I've been most kind of intrigued by is in the dental sector, at least for the last four years, some would argue a lot longer, there has been a supply and demand imbalance. And with that, obviously, um, there has been a lot of disruption through that. And I think everybody that's in the industry that has local kind of group Facebook pages, I imagine those things in the last four years have been hotter than they ever have been, more competitive than they ever have been. And what I'm just so curious about is, Obviously, these these staffing agencies and recruiting agencies are highly inflationary. They take a, a small to a large part of the overall wage, depending on said agency. Um, and I'm just, I, I've been really curious to see this play out. Obviously, dentists and, and dental specialists, there's, there have been those type of kind of recruiting and staffing and headhunter agencies for a long time. When you're de dealing with that type of niche, niche skill set or specialty, I can kind of understand that. What has really surprised me is the amount of now staffing and temp agencies for hygienist, dental assistants, and treatment coordinators. In the last, again, four years, those, those companies have really, really started to pop up in a major way. When you throw in kind of consultants or coaches into that mix too, again, I, I think it is actually playing into why we still have a 40% shortage in our dental industry. Uh, and, and that 40% number still scares me because a lot of the literature I read, there's more people retiring than entering the labor market for dentistry. So I'm curious, what are you guys seeing at home? Are you guys seeing a lot of the rise of these either temp agencies or staffing agencies? And that's where you're, you're um, finding your staff. I mean, uh, just full disclosure at Lad Dental Group, we have our own internal recruiter because it is just so hard to find people right now. Um, and I'm curious, ultimately, my number one question is, have we gotten to the point now where we have more recruiters, temp staffing agencies, and coaches slash consultants than we actually have of qualified candidates looking for career opportunities in our industry? So comment down below, let me know what you guys are seeing, and ultimately, what do you guys think the catalyst is gonna be to, to reverse this, this labor market supply demand imbalance? At some point, the, the overall participation has to go up or or these these very disruptive pressures are going to continue. Um, lastly, I think that is part of the reason why there's been such DSO consolidation. Um, I think the labor market disruption is one of the the main drivers, if not the overall main driver of said consolidation. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and have a great Friday.